My life before I knew Christ, um, although it was a great life, I feel like I've always had a really good life, I felt lost. I felt lost most of my adult life. Um, just kind of lost in not knowing who I was and searching for something, not knowing what I was searching for, not knowing what I needed. God was just kind of after me for a while, tugging at me for a long time, telling me that he was the answer. I feel like finding Christ for me was, it was a process. It wasn't an instant moment. I realized that maybe I needed to start looking for God more. And I decided, you know, I should, I should find a church. I should find a place to share with other people in that. Um, and that's when I found Northridge. About the beginning of, of 2022, um, the series Habits for Change, um, the very first message of that series Drew talked about, you know, I think he touched on all seven habits. The two of those that stuck the most with me were, were prayer and daily scripture. I really, you know, decided that I wanted to spend more time in prayer um, to build that relationship with God. And then I also decided that um, I wanted to read the Bible. You know, we, we were given this book, you know, from God and my beliefs were rooted in it, but I'd never read the whole thing. Reading the, the, the whole thing, the whole Bible in its entirety, um, it changed my life. That is truly what brought me to Christ. Reading through the Old Testament, the Old Testament is a challenging long read, but I can remember reading it and, and you know, you go through so many stories and there are so many stories where you're like, why can't they just see God right in front of them? And then you look at the ways that God was constantly there for them. And then you get to the New Testament and you read the gospel and it just brings it all together. You just realize that that, that thing that they needed all that time was a savior. That thing that we all need is a savior. Giving my life to Christ has brought me so much peace and I feel, I feel found. I feel the purpose. You know, anytime there's a struggle in my life, that's where I turn to. Um, and it is the one rock that will always be, is, is Christ. I think I knew I wanted to be baptized pretty early on in, in reading through all of scripture, but it really hit home for me when I, when I got to the New Testament and I had read the Gospels and I got to the book of Acts. It was so exciting to read about the apostles spreading the Gospel and spreading God's Word and, and people just immediately like turning around to be baptized. Um, it made me want to do the same thing. It made me want to just run out to the creek down the road and, and to have someone, you know, to have someone baptize me um, so that I can just really say that, you know, I'm giving my life to Christ. Well, Amanda, your, your story is just such a wonderful testimony of God, His power and uh, of his word at work in your life. Just the beautiful, simple reality of spending time praying and spending time in his word led you to discover that we all need, that you needed a savior and that you placed your faith and trust in him and are following him. And so just a truly remarkable story. We're honored that we all get to celebrate and be a part of you being baptized and publicly saying, I'm a follower of Jesus Christ. So it's my great honor to baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit.